Welcome back to the channel, boxing fans. So, a very exciting week of boxing. You know, a huge upset with Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia fooling everyone, acting crazy. He wasn't crazy. He was playing mind games and he dropped Devin Haney three times to beat him in a majority decision. And there is now a very exciting run up for boxing fans. Canelo Munguia is happening on the Cinco de Mayo. And of course, Usyk Fury is getting closer and closer. 5v5 Queensbury card was announced with better be of Bivol, two undefeated light heavyweights at the top of their game. Dante Wilder on the undercard as well. A lot of title 50-50 fights. However, what else has happened this week in boxing? What fights have been announced? So, there, have been, there has been exciting movement in the cruiserweight division. World champion Chris Billum Smith has announced his return. He will be fighting Richard Riakpour. I don't think they could do it at Bournemouth because I don't think the stadium was big enough. So Crystal Palace it is. Very exciting fight, you know. Again, Chris Billum Smith gets a bit of hate from... Not hate, but he gets criticism from a lot of boxing fans who say he's big and strong. But maybe it's not the boxing IQ that, you know, other boxers do. And while this is true, I think it's harsh. You know, Billum Smith deserves a lot of credit. He takes hard fights, he hits hard, and he was the first guy to dethrone a Coley, who was massive and a good fighter. So I like Chris Bilder Smith coming from his hometown. I will be rooting for him to beat Riakpour. I'm also like very scared. Like I think you know, like when you start to like like someone and form that attachment, it's like, oh god, please don't let him lose. You know, you really feel what the family must be going through. Like, so yeah, that'll be an exciting match. Very much looking forward to it. On the undercard, a guy I did a video about uh, like last week, Isaac Chamberlain, rumored to be fighting. Vidal Riley or Chef Clark for the British has vacated the British has vacated the British and is fighting for the European fighting CS Lack. Again, seems like it'll be an exciting fight, but I think the fans probably want to see him versus Vidal. But if he wants to go for the European, why not? You know, it's his life, it's just great, he can do what he wants. Has he ducked Vidal or Chev Clark? Parsh to say, because he's fighting for a bigger belt, so his opponent should be harder. Hopefully he'll fight Vidal at some point. So yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. And the Saudis have been making more moves. Pound for pound champion Terence Crawford is back in Saudi. I don't know much about his opponent, actually. I haven't really heard much about him. So I will do some more research into him in the next few days to see I think the likely winner will be. Will it be a tough fight for Crawford? From what I've seen, just like the comments under the... It was announced. People do think it's going to be a good fight. It sounds like it will give um, Crawford a test. He's obviously one of the pound for pound kings. So another exciting fight. And we have more movement at heavyweight as Andy Ruiz Jr. His comeback has returned. The Saudis are pretty paid him enough money for him to come back. Look, I like Ruiz. I think he's a really good fighter. I think he might regret choices he's made in his career later down the line partying too much after he won his heavyweight championship instead of working, making lots of gaps, outpricing himself. You know, he's fought twice, I think, since that AJ's second fight. Probably not enough. Both, like, pretty good fights, to be fair. I think he fought Ortiz, the guy Wilder beat, in a pretty exciting fight. So I'm excited to see Andy Ruiz back. He is against Jarrell Miller, who is the guy who got done for drugs when he was supposed to fight AJ. And Ruiz stepped in, causing... The controversy of that huge night in Madison Square Garden. Miller, who obviously just lost to Daniel Dubois on a TKO, getting stopped in the last moments of the fight. He was on his feet, but like he just wasn't throwing anything back and he was taking heavy punishment from Dubois. Dubois, I like. I think when you go through 12 rounds of Usyk, you become just a much better fighter. Like just the information that your brain downloads about boxing, I think you become a much better fighter. Look, Gerald Miller. Big, strong, huge unit. Dubois had to bite down on his gum shield at some points. He looked pretty tired, but he got up. He kept going. And I think he, his reputation did well that night. He got rid of a lot of the people who were saying he's a quitter, you know, after the Joyce and Usyk losses. Both of which I think really harsh. In the Joyce fight, he ruptured his eye socket, which can lead to blindness. And the Usyk, is Usyk. Like, the guy's a, the guy's a, you know, he's a magician. Like, it's just, he's all over you doesn't stop Inc incredible cardio i mean do i you really need to go about how good Usyk is so it's been an exciting week of boxing you know we've had an exciting upset and lots more exciting fights have been announced and we have exciting fights coming up very soon canelo and obviously fury Usyk. so very exciting time to be a fox boxing fan your comments in the thoughts down below what are your early predictions like and subscribe if you like the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.